Welcome back to MBE. Um, you just saw Scott over there working on the on the DMG 100, and it is not to not to fret, kids. Um, Christmas time is on its way, and Santa Claus's beard will be the proper length in the next three weeks. I promise. Okay. So over there, he was cutting 10 degree wedge heads over here. That's because it goes like 420 CFM, small block. We have the drag race application. We have three more, three other applications. This is a fillet small block forward, or not a fillet, this is a solid CID small block forward casting. We're doing our 12 degree head in that. So it's a solid, a solid casting. So this head will run on methanol and obviously for a pro charger. Okay, so that's op one, putting C force, guide boards, rocker gear, spark plugs. Things like that. And this is Ian over here is updating a set of C3 heads. These are for a customer, Corey Binkowitz. And uh, he's an engineer, I'm not sure where from, but, um, but anyway, so. He's got a power adder, he was having some issues with the thing detonating, so the chamber was which was way too tight. Um, we added a soft chamber, but we also laid back the chamber, and then we're going to reflow everything. We're redoing the exhaust ports in it, and he's updating the intake ports too. And we can show you some of it over here. But this chamber used to, this chamber was was, 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 was about to here last time, so all that has been laid back. Um, and this would even help if it was normally aspirated, not only on uh, for the power adder, so all the mid lift numbers are going to go up. Like it'll be a, a very big increase, and we'll show that on the uh, on a video when we do this um, later on. We open the throats up. It's, it's going to think it's got about a what is it? How, how much larger are the throats than the exhaust side is? Seventy five. So seventy five thousandths larger here. So the the engine's going to think it's got a seventy five thousandths larger exhaust valve in it. So. That responds to everything, NA, but especially in a power and energy application, uh, this turbocharger is going to make more power because it'll have more exhaust going through it. So if that, but then uh, just normal stuff. We got the 18s, got the big nines. So these are finished for Mr. Creason. They've been blended and everything. They've been CC'd and decked. So they're probably just mock. Oh, they're just mocking up manifolds now. You can see that right here. Here's another set, a set of 12 degrees. These are an update here. So we ran our CNC program through a 12 degree Brodex head. And typically if they have Brodex's um, CNC program in it, we can put our, in, our, our, we can put our programs in and it'll clean up. It'll clean up everywhere in the, in the chamber and the intake port. So something like this, um, it's gonna pick up quite a bit. I would say typically we see four, about four mile an hour. So that's a lot of power there. So it should pick up a significant amount. Well, it will. And then uh, we've done so many of these. So that's something, if you have a set of 12 degree Brodex heads and, and you want to go faster, this is something we can do. You don't have to buy rocker arms, things like that. All of it will fit. Most of the time you don't have to buy exhaust valves. This, this, uh, this gentleman's uh, intake and exhaust valves were fine, he doesn't, so he doesn't need any. The back angles were close enough to make power and have the flow coefficient. So we got, um, CID LS heads here, uh, LS, LS7 heads here, and then wait a minute, I'll take that on that. So we have our CID LS7 head here, and then this customer is, is, is doing this, and then uh, Ian will show it. So, but this is going to have a Whipple supercharger on it, and we can make this manifold fit these heads with not much effort. Um, Steve Johnson is going to be building this engine. We've worked with Steve in the past. They're nothing but a joy over there. They definitely got their act together. So I think this is going to be a cool deal. The customer wanted something a little different on the cylinder head part, um, and especially with the Whipple supercharger, this will be a this will be a pretty cool piece. So keep that in mind. Whipple supercharger, MBE CID LS7 heads. It can be done. It's not a big deal. And thank you, Ian. Not drunk. <laughs> So, so this stuff here, 
up the insurgents. Um, let's go here, dude. Let's go see Bob. Bob's now jobbing. We ran all the big nines over the weekend, so we ran. I think we ran about, about 8 to 10 cylinder heads over the weekend. I came in and uh, we cnc would all them. So since then they've got all the all of the um, guide tones. And now they're on to final valve jobbing everything. So I think three of the sets have been finished and there's two more sets to valve job right here. So these are they'll both these sets done on, on Monday. And you can see you can see how the epoch works what it's cutting as it cuts. So it's kind of cool to see the, the video of it. Because it still can only take so much material out at a time. And this has three more of these to do. And then all of a sudden we'll see some chips coming off of it. Well, maybe in the next two. So it's cutting the whole profile. It's cutting the whole profile. You see it's getting closer. And then it's got moving chips here. Well, that's probably picking up on it. So we got it. We'll go down. We'll do that by hand and then set a zero after this. So we'll get out of your way. Puts the oil on the on the pilot because the pilot's carbide, so it's harder than what the guide is. That way, they won't wear the guide out um, because we keep those to uh, the guides are honed to the tenth of a thousand to ensure that the valve job is concentric. Yeah, you can see all the pilots are in two tenths increments. Well, four, or six, or eight, ten, twelve. And, and the closer we can get that fit, the better, the more, the more concentricity we're going to have with the valve job. So it is definitely all about who is running the machine and who is honing the guides to make sure that is correct. And that's why we do not have little kids or people that aren't conscientious um, honing guides because it's, it's, it's the most important part of the valve job. And I don't think everybody realizes that. And it's moving chips now. So you can going to rough all four of those and then get finished. Bob's been uh, running a machine like this for probably 20 years. Since he was in sixth grade, right, Bob? <laughs> That's right. Sixth grade. That's right. That's right. And then so we have, we have, we have cylinder rats coming in for updates and just servicing since the end of the year. Um, some customers would just want us to help them with spring choices. Um, and just keep things fresh for them, valve job on the epoch, uh, just having the right people work on, work on, them, work on their, race, uh, their racing cylinder heads. So, this is an old set of heads here, set of 11s, uh, I believe we updated those, that's an old set. Those are 2007, so yeah, those are pretty old, but they're here, we'll, we'll service them for them. That's all kinds of stuff in here, so we have... We have new billet LS valve covers. These are to fit in the MBE CID LS7 head. So this, this is here for mock-up to make sure it clears the larger spring, things of that nature, the height, all of that, because this is a race cylinder head. You can put it on the street, but it's designed for racing, and that's why it'll have all that on there. So that's why it's here for mock-up, because it's a little bit taller for the spring. And then, uh, and then these, the standoffs that go on here, get that open or not no but anyways um, we had we had to have them shrink the OD on the standoff so all that um, is just we're just double checking everything we also does a boatload of valve covers are for us they are great to work with 
We don't have any issues on things cracking or any of that, and we have used them for a many, many years. And then we got a we got a set of our billet valve covers right here for our billet cylinder heads, the small blocks, the Ford and the Chevy. So that's a dovetail O-ring, so it doesn't come out. Dovetail meaning when the when the cutter goes in. The cutter actually goes in like this and then it cuts like this so it can't come out the o-ring can't come out because it's small on the top end here so these are all dovetail this way when you put the valve cover on you don't have to worry about it coming out and we don't want it coming out and then somebody not see it and then crash the race car so let's avoid that so that's what we do there this is uh this is a, for our new small block ford billet head jess will just finish the rocker system for this we'll probably have this available with tmd stuff too but this is the jessel system so they send us a rapid prototype, show us where everything is at. We drop it all in the CAD so we can look. And we send them CAD too so they can look where the push rod is. We try to help each other out on all of that. So this will have approximately 28 fasteners holding the bar on. So a, a, just a boatload of fasteners, as you can see even from the bottom side here. So a lot of fasteners holding that on to make sure it's rigid. So these are always cool, for sure. And well. That goes on that billet head right there. That's what this is for. So this bolts on there, like so. And then these are set here for updates, probably go over springs, things like that, the customer. And then everything else, we're just waiting on parts, like a lot of the engine builders are too. So be nice to your engine builders. They want this stuff out of their shops as much as you do, I promise. So everybody, have a great weekend, and thank you for joining us.